Crude oil price hits record $100 a barrel mark. Concern over supplies for expanding economies seen driving trend. New York crude oil prices soared to $100 a barrel Wednesday for the first time ever. Reaching that milestone amid an unshakable view that global demand for oil and petroleum products will soon outstrip supplies. That's bad news. Surging economies in China and India fed by oil and gasoline have sent prices soaring over the past year while tensions in oil producing nations like Nigeria and Iran have increasingly made investors nervous and invited speculators to drive prices even higher. Higher and higher goes the gasoline and petroleum price. Peak oil years. The world is using over 1,000 barrels per second and the number is climbing. Breakneck speed. Violence in Nigeria helped give crude the final push over $100 a barrel. Bands of armed men invaded Port Harcourt, the, city, the center of Nigeria's oil industry Tuesday, attacking two police stations and raiding the lobby of a major hotel. Word that several Mexican oil export ports were closed due to rough weather added to the gains as did a report that OPEC may not be able to meet its share of global oil demand very soon. What is the world going to do? Light sweet crude for February delivery rose $4.02 to $100 a barrel on the New York Mercantile Exchange according to Brenda Guzman, a night a NYMEX spokeswoman before slipping back to settle at a record close of $99.62, up $3.64. For Wednesday, January the 2nd, 2008, there's more of this to come. That's a guarantee. Oil prices are within the range of inflation adjusted highs set in early 1980, depending on how the adjustment is calculated, $38 a barrel then would be worth 96 to 103, $103 or more today. The White House on Wednesday said it would not release oil from the nation's strategic reserves to drive prices lower. As of early November, the Strategic Petroleum Reserve contained 694 million barrels of oil. The government is working to fill it to its 727 million barrel capacity. That wouldn't take very long to drain, would it? No. That's not going to help. The solution to high prices lies in expanding domestic oil and gas production and increasing the nation's refining capacity. Energy Department spokeswoman Megan Barnett said, but there hasn't been a new refinery built in this country in many years, and it takes years. It takes years to build a refinery. When are they going to start? I don't see any new refineries being built at all. No. Crude prices which have flirted with $100 a barrel for months have risen in recent days on supply concerns exacerbated by Turkish attacks on Kurdish rebels in northern Iraq and falling domestic inventories. However, post-holiday trading volumes were about 50% of normal Wednesday, meaning the price move was likely exaggerated by more speculative buying, whatever the reason be. I would imagine the speculators are the biggest drivers today. It's hard to say whether prices would have, would have risen as quickly on a normal trading day 
while oil has soared and mounting supply concerns in recent months. Speculators have often been cited as a reason for the swiftness of oil's climbs, of oil's climb, whatever the reason be. Although the Nigerian violence has not impacted oil flow out of the country yet, it has reignited supply concerns as militant attacks have reduced Nigeria's crude output by roughly 20% since 2006. That's not good there. Not good news there, no. Separately, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, says member nations may not be able to meet demand very, very soon. Though OPEC also said that deadline could slide for decades or something like that if members can only increase production. We need to find a few more Saudi Arabias really quickly but not likely to happen. No, that's not likely to happen. Word that several Mexican oil export ports were closed due to rough weather added to the gains. On top of those concerns, investors are anticipating that crude inventories fell by 1.7 million barrels last week, which would be the seventh straight weekly drop. A decline is not anything unusual for this time of year, but when it happens for seven weeks in a row, it starts to add up. At the pump, meanwhile, gas prices, gas prices rose 0 0.6 cents Wednesday to a national average of over $3 a gallon, according to AAA and the Oil Price Information Service. Gas prices, which typically lag the futures market, have edged higher in recent days following oil's approach to $100 a barrel. No, this is a sign of the last days or of the end times. $100 a barrel, a new record. Yes, and it will be going even higher in the days, weeks, months or years to come, whatever be left. No, the world needs to find a new way to power the world. Yes, it does. Because petroleum is not going to keep up with demand. Period. 